While I was recording my Blazer deep dive course for Dome Train, I saw that one of my sites really needed some love. So in this video, we are going to add some pre-rendering to my Blazor WebAssembly site. Using the Blazor Wasm pre-rendering.build NuGet package. If you use the code BTS30, you can get 30% off my Blazor Getting Started course over on Dome Train. So check that out if you want to learn more about Blazor. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Here's my site. This is a site for stage coder. It's running on top of GitHub pages. So there's no backend involved in this in any way. There's also not really any interactivity, but I'm going to ignore that for now. And we're just going to add some pre-rendering to the existing site. So I clone my repo from GitHub and right there, it's starting warning me about, hey, you know what? I don't even have this version installed anymore. So we're going to do two things. We're going to upgrade this to .NET 8 and we're going to add some pre-rendering. So let's just jump into our stage coder web here. Let's change this to 8 instead. I'm not going to bother updating any templates or anything like that. I'm just fine upgrading it to .NET 8 here. Let's also jump into dependencies, manage NuGet packages. I would imagine that we got some old stuff there as well. So let's check updates. So I have mark dig. I'm not actually sure that I'm using that, but let's upgrade all of this and accept everything that just shows up on the screen as usual. Don't do that really. All right, so let's dismiss this message here and see if we can build the project now. Hey, look at that. The project succeeded. So great. So let's run this page and see what's happening. So it loads. Great. Takes a little bit of time. That initial download that WebAssembly needs to do, we need to wait for that to happen before we can interact with the content. That is what we're going to get rid of. I mean, the site is pretty simple. We have Visual Studio information about Visual Studio extension. We have PowerShell information about the PowerShell version of this. We have some background. Where is this coming from? Now, this is not going to be a selling video telling you about the StageCoder plugin or, or extension. But when we're done, you can check stagecoder.com to find out what that's all about. So we want to add some pre-rendering to this site and make it look really great. So the first thing we need to do is to pop into our NuGet packages. And luckily we already had those open. And we're going to browse for the Blazor Wasm pre-rendering.build. Let's install that. So while we're installing that, I want to talk a little bit about this library. This is made by a fellow MVP, Yunichi Sakamoto from Japan. And the really cool thing here is that it's going to render the pages when we publish the project. So we have a couple of options here. One, so we can add the package and it's going to make sure that when we publish our project, it's going to render the content so that SEOs better can access all the data. So it's going to take a look at our site. It's going to check all the links, follow those links and make sure that all of that is pre-rendered. We can specify specific links if you have something that is kind of hidden, an Easter egg or something like that. But there's a bunch of stuff this extension can do. But for this video, we're just going to add the SEO and the pre-rendering. So great, we have our build package. We also need to change the GitHub action that I have here. So let's go into our GitHub actions. Let's edit it. And if we see here, we can see that it's running .NET 7, or it's looking for .NET 7. We want to use .NET 8. And the same thing goes down here. We want to use 8 here as well. Great. I believe that is all it takes. Let's create a publish. Let's create a new profile. I'm going to go to a folder. That That's a great folder to get our data in. Let's publish. We'll create our profile and then publish. 
So now we're going to get our site is going to do all that stuff that we talked about and put that on the disk here. So now we're going through all the links on my page, pre-rendering it and saving it. And there we go. We got it published. Let's take a look in the folder here. We can see that we got the www root. We got some folders for each path. So let's go into our Visual Studio one. And in here we have an index.html that wasn't there before. So if we take a look at the page here, the HTML page here, we'll see that we still have the loading information here. And we also have the pre-rendered content. So this is for SEOs to be able to index our content. If we're only interested in adding SEO to our site, we can stop here. But I also want to have this fast load because all of the content on my site is static. So first of all, let's take a look at it running. So if I reload this site, we'll still see that I get that progress bar. But let's get rid of that. So if we go into our uh, project file, we're going to add this. So Blazor Wasm pre-rendering delete loading contents. So we're going to remove the progress bar and add our content there instead. And I feel so confident about this. So I'm just going to push this to uh, GitHub. Added pre-rendering like that. Commit. Same commit and push. OK, so our action is done and check out this page. If I reload this page now, you see that there's no loading going on. There's no progress bar. The content is there straight away. So if you take a look up here, you can see that it says stage coder right now. If I reload the page, it's going to say stage coder web until WebAssembly is completely loaded. So let's try that. So right now we are seeing the pre-rendered content. And as soon as WebAssembly is loaded, it's going to switch over to stage coder. So that's the time it takes for WebAssembly to kick everything into gear. But for our page, it doesn't matter. If I go to this page, I reload this page, the content is there quick because it's pre-rendered. So if we take a look at them side by side, you'll see that it's quite a big difference. And there we go. I hope you found this video helpful and valuable. And if you want to learn more about Blazor, you can pick up my book or you can check out my course on Dome Crane, Getting Started with Blazor.